straddling the Glasgow and North Lanarkshire boundary between Easterhouse, Coatbridge and Steps, the Seven Locks Wetland Park is a new heritage and nature park of national significance. The park is named after seven ancient locks which formed after the last ice age about 12,000 years ago. Associated with these locks are important areas of natural habitat, a host of historic sites and established places for recreation including a network of trails to help people discover and enjoy this wonderful natural asset. There's lots of things to see and do here, there's over 10 miles of footpath so there's plenty of uh, areas for people to explore, lots of places where people can go running or walking, cycling, very popular here. My role is to organise events, different activities in order for the public to engage with the park. Um, so we organise family events, we have volunteering activities, we do guided walks um, and talks about the culture and the heritage of the park. The Seven Locks Wetland Park uh, covers a large area, it's over 16 kilometres squared and uh, within that there are quite a few different habitats. There's uh, obviously the locks themselves and there's plenty of ancient woodland and uh, uh, reed beds and grassland areas. So the Seven Locks volunteer group currently carry out practical conservation work within the nature reserves in the park. So that can be anything from woodland management to wildflower planting. We also carry out wildlife surveys and we do this on a, on a weekly basis. Uh, the Seven Locks Wetland Park has changed drastically over the years. Uh, at one time this was a very industrialised area, but wildlife has a way of coming back and that's what you see here. There are lots of species within the Seven Locks Wetland Park area. There's, in, within the woodlands you will see roe deer, badger, fox, squirrels. These areas have been here for a number of years but they need protection, they need to be here for future generations. They're really good for a lot of our slightly rarer species, if I can say that. Great crested newts, water voles and otters. These are areas that they can thrive in, but we obviously need to protect these areas for that to happen. And the Seven Locks Wetland Project is perfect for that. The Seven Locks Wetland Park really is heritage and nature on your doorstep. Sitting between the M80, M73 and M8 motorways, the park comprises a wealth of habitats which are home to many important species. The next few years will see the development of four visitor gateways at Drumpelier Country Park, Proven Hall, Hoganfield Park and Glenboig Life Centre. These will be places to find out about what to do and where to go in the park and they will be hubs for a host of heritage activities for people of all ages. Already a number of walking and cycling routes exist, including the extensive Seven Locks Trail. Well, the Seven Locks Wetland Park is an already a great place to come and visit. There's plenty of wildlife to see, there's lots of heritage to learn about. The lands that predominantly the Seven Locks will now cover uh, take in what would have been medieval Glasgow and the pre-bend of Proven Hall. Um, so that would take in Hugginfield, uh, Drumpelia, ourselves at Proven Hall. It's hoped that when the visitor centre is finished, this uh, Proven Hall will be the gateway into the Seven Lofts Park area. We're able to get the buildings renovated, hopefully put in improved visitor facilities, and then we then increase the number of people coming through the door and then just enjoying this wonderful place. Um, but for the time being, I'd say to people who've got an interest, then come down just now and explore. For me, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. It's absolutely amazing and I'm hoping I'm still here to see the end of it. <laughs> the Seven Locks Wetland Park is just being discovered. Over the next five years, with the support of Heritage Lottery Fund and a host of other funders and supporters, we hope to develop the Seven Locks as a great place for people, heritage and nature. A place that people can visit, enjoy and be proud of. We're at the start of an amazing journey and we hope that local people and those from further afield can be a part of it and help shape what is sure to become a truly unique urban wildlife park.